disclaimer. This is not going to work. Cramming is not an advised approach. You could end up feeling, make your parents disappointed, family disappointed, friends disappointed. Your ex might get happy, your enemies might get happy. Cramming is not an advised approach. This is this is not going to work. In fact, everything in this video that I'm going to say, don't do this. It's not going to work. Alright, so now that that is out of the way, here are the five tips that actually make cramming work. These are five tips. Once you use it, it it's going to work. Number one, pass papers. Pass papers is paramount. It's the number one thing. Number one resource you should collect. That's, that's like gold. You need to do as much past paper as possible under exam conditions. That's the key. In fact, I can tell what grade a student is going to get, who's going to do better based on how many past papers they have done and how they have done, how they have performed in the past papers. So collect past papers and just do them. This is the approach you want to study from, not from the textbook. Do not, if you are studying last minute cramming, do not go and pick up a textbook. Go and pick up a past paper first. Do the past paper, find the weak points, get it in the textbook, get it on YouTube, get it from Kerwin, and then go, go back and do some more past papers. Just rinse and repeat. Tip number two, you want to write as you have never written before. Here's the problem with this. Some people study and they bring it into the cramming vibes, into the cramming kingdom, and here how they bring in this study in eh? here how they study in. So they want to learn a definition, algorithm, and they take up the textbook, read the definition. A finite list of sequential steps that when executed leads to the solution of a particular problem. Close their eyes. Pong it in, pong it in. Ah, I know that. Go on to the next definition. That's the worst thing you could do. Exams are usually written. That means if you are practicing it, cramming, you need to write. So, Because that's what you're going to do at the end of the day. Write it. So you need to come with your pen and close the textbook and see if you actually know your definition for algorithm. A finite list of sequential steps when executed leads to the solution of a particular problem. If you don't know it, if you left out a keyword, which usually happens, you need to go back in your textbook, get the keyword, and that process of testing, fixing mistake, texting, um, texting, did I say texting? Writing, fixing the mistake, writing, fixing the mistake. That, that cycle that cycle is the winning key, winning formula. Number three, time. All exams are written under time constraint, so they can't time constraints, so therefore you want to practice under time constraint. You don't want to make sure that you only know how to do the question, but that you know how to do the question under the amount of time you allotted for that question. Number four, take care of yourself. There's a there's a limit. To the amount of there's a balance between the amount of sleep you could lose. I mean, you're going to lose sleep, you're cramming, right? But the amount of sleep you could practically lose before it starts to become a negative and you start to lose out by actually lose. So, if you go without sleep for like about two days, no sleep, uh, that, that's a bad idea. That's that is usually a bad idea for most people, right? Your productivity will be done and you just wouldn't retain stuff as well. So, you might as well just sleep and wake back up, maybe take a power nap or something. Here are some other tips in taking care of yourself. Make sure you get as much fresh baths as possible. Yes, sir. Bathing actually tricks your body into thinking it's a fresh start, fresh cycle, and you're ready to take a next two hours of studying. It's a trick that I've used many times. And some things you need to must stay away from. Sugar, oil, meat, too much of them thing. It's cloud your mind. It doesn't help, help the cramming process, especially sugar. You hear what I'm saying? Especially sugar. Some people go into an exam and they get their mind went blank. And I think they want to know why, why their mind gone blank. It's because they drink a Cokes before the exam. Finally, number five, find a tutor. So number five and number one are the two most important things. Eh? Pass papers and find a tutor. A tutor is going to give you a roadmap. Um, and at your, at, when you're picking a tutor, you want to pick someone who's um did the exam recently or did the exam before or just versed in this exam that you are doing and knows the syllabus so that they can give you an actual roadmap knows what co what is coming this is just going to make the whole cramming process so much easier if you can't pay for a tutor find an older friend who a uh, graduate who has done it before you need to network and get somebody who can help you out in this because this is just going to speed up the process too much time, so you have to carry money you by yourself. Throw away your prank, go and find somebody who did it before and let them make the process. Stop reinventing the wheel. 
All right, I didn't want to make that long video, so those are the tips, those are the keys. If you unlock them, you will have achieved immense power. And I hope you never, ever have to use them that you will actually schedule your exams on time and have a proper study schedule and you never have to be in a situation where you have to use these new powers I've given to you.